Does the vinyl on your RV look something like this? Is it fading? Is it cracking? Is it peeling? There's a lot of videos out there that tell you how to remove all of this. Um, I found another way that I want to show you. We're going to be using steam today. If you've ever thought about buying a steam cleaner and you've got to do this to your RV, I would say now's the time. These vinyl decals only last six, seven, eight years. Um, if you're lucky, maybe 10 or 12. Um, but uh, they fade, they crack, they peel, and it makes your rig look really aged. Online, I found people using chemicals. I found people using um, scrapers. Um, but I didn't find anybody using steam. And it was pretty miraculous how easily all of this stuff came off. This is the end result of removing a decal. I was able to peel this off in one piece. I think this is going to require some scrapers, some plastic scrapers. You don't want to use a razor blade. You want to use a plastic razor blade. And if you notice, it, you can see the outline of the, the decal I removed. And I thought that this was the adhesive. This is just the factory look of the fiberglass and this is faded over time. The vinyl decal has actually saved uh, the shine. So what I did was I buffed out, here's the original decal, I buffed out the rig right here and you'll see that you can't see where the, the vinyl decal was because it's all shiny now. It came all the way down here to a point. All right, I am going to use this little triangular attachment, like an upholstery attachment. It's very common to see people wrap a cloth around it. This helps get the dirt off when you're cleaning upholstery and whatnot. For us, it's going to help spread out the uh, steam, larger surface area. And then we will just rubber band this down. I would use gloves. This steam can get incredibly hot and you don't want to burn yourself. So um, you're going to want to get an edge up. Steam it. Get an edge up. You don't want to get too close to this because you'll pull it and you'll actually heat this up and you'll you'll snap it off. So do little sections at a time. For the sake of uh, brevity here, um, I'll leave this one at that. I'll show you on a different spot here how it comes up. That one was really quite simple. Um, if they're really cracked um, and, uh, and brittle, you may have to just use the steam and scrape it. I don't know if you can see that on the video. I think you can. You can see it clearly where the decal was. And I'm going to show you how I buff that out. You can use any buffing compound. This is a 3 of the 3M Perfect It. You can use any buffing compound. You don't want to cut through it. You don't want to use a number one or two, but you can just buy any buffing compound from the auto parts store and use that. I'm going to put a little bit on my on the buffing pad here. With just a little bit of work, brought that shine back to the whole trailer, and you can't even hardly see where that decal was. As you can tell, there's an old, very cracked decal right here. 
I will try to work on that with without my scrapers to see what we can do. I'm going to tell you right now, don't use what I'm using here, a metal razor blade. On Amazon for 10 bucks, you can get a hundred of plastic razor blades with a little holder and they won't scrape up your paint. I'm going to give you a small demonstration being very careful, but it wants to take up my paint. So without the steam, it just wants to... It, it just doesn't want to come off. And I'm being very careful here. With a little steam. It just comes right off. And again, I have to be so careful. With a plastic one, I could be more aggressive without risking damaging the fiberglass. I want to stop there because I, I can see I'm coming into the uh, paint here a little bit and that's the last thing I want to do. So you can get these on Amazon as well and uh, just go go type that in and uh, steam cleaner and you can find yourself uh, a couple hundred bucks, maybe even cheaper now. Um, a little steam cleaner and boy does it go a long way in helping you clean your trailer. Um, all the time. I just got through cleaning uh, all of my windows. Um, you put a little nozzle on the end of this and it'll just shoot steam out and clean up your windows, clean your your, uh, your benches and your couches and chairs, um, your ceilings very carefully with not a lot of steam. Uh, you can clean off all them, that grime and bugs and, and residue from your air conditioning and, and heater. Um, so this is a multi-purpose tool, um, almost limitless what you can use it for, and it will save you loads of time and effort if you need to remove your, your decals. This is the area of the decal. This is the exposed area and the top portion of a decal. When I didn't get enough steam, as you saw before, it'll snap off and it will start leaving behind adhesive, which is just more work. The steam really makes it come off easy. See some adhesive right there. I didn't get any steam. Let's get it started. Two short sections at a time. You know if you ever drop something on the ground in the shop, garage, outside, how it vanishes? Here we go. Again, don't use these razor blades. This is just a gamble and I can't put a lot of pressure so I see I'm leaving behind some adhesive. It's just not worth it. You can use a little bit of rubbing alcohol, something mild, and get those little pieces of adhesive off. Let's finish this out.
If that's not satisfying, I don't know what is. I hope that helps somebody out there. Um, I love YouTube because we can share ideas and and uh, work together on how to uh, accomplish things more effectively. If you've got any comments, suggestions, uh, things you see that uh, could improve this, throw them in the comments so other people can learn and uh, we can save some time.